So, good morning. <laughs> Let's start with that. As you know from the last vlog, it rained all that day and then it rained all the next day and like the snow, especially on like the surfaces, like the deck and stuff was down to like, you know that with like the frozen crust underneath. Well, last night it decided to snow again and let me just show you. This is exactly where we were at before it rained for two days. Oh my goodness, there's so much snow. I had puppy visitors. <laughs> Which is actually really convenient for them to come in because if they come to visit then I can get out that way now because of like land dolphins trying to get through. Anyways, today is Tuesday. Um, it is that outside. <laughs> my friend has gone off to work on probably a couple plumbing issues. Um, Strudel's mom, I saw her disappear with the aforementioned puppies to go take pictures. And I can see my one boss's house from here and nothing has been shoveled. They have not moved out of that house yet. So I don't feel bad for just being here. Although in all fairness, I did reach out to my one boss yesterday and say, hey, is there anything else you need me to do? Because like, I know you're contracting out to me. So like, it's a little bit more expensive <laughs> than if I was on payroll. And um, he was like, nope, I think we're good. Nothing pressing. So that's exciting. So I'm just gonna be here all day, mostly like it was yesterday. I only left the house for about an hour and a half, hour and 45 to um, clean the cottage. <laughs> and then I've just been, I was just here and then kind of same thing today. I'm just gonna be here, got my breakfast drink so I can get the day started off right, even even though it's a little late, late but right. And um, yeah, I am gonna leave the store at, or I'm gonna go down to the store at some point because I want to get, um, some pop for the rest of my stay out here. So I should probably go sooner rather than later, but also, ugh, I'm kind of lazy. Um, so I'm just gonna hang out for a bit, maybe, maybe after lunch. Maybe it'll be a post-lunch adventure. So the other day, when there was the massive blizzard and the windstorm, I tried to watch the Harry Potter 20-year special and the freaking satellite went out. Now is the time, I hope. I hope nothing comes up. Let's watch it. Or let me watch it. Let me enjoy it. <laughs> and um, so I'll be here for like the next hour and a half. As if I wouldn't have been anyways. <laughs> snow. I'm venturing out. It's starting to snow again too. Big leafy bits. Look at how deep <laughs> this snow is. Like, that's insane. Okay, I'm making <laughs> my way down to the store and trying not to die. It's so pretty though, right? Just the prettiest. I don't, the path goes this way, but I want to go to that path. Oh no. <laughs> it's so deep. Okay, we've made it to the questionable lose path here. Just very icy. Just don't die. But like, yeah, look how far. Look how deep. Look how deep. Okay. Gonna try not to die. Gonna go to the store. Get myself some pop. And then probably come back home and pack a bit because it looks like I'm leaving tomorrow early. There's a boat going to town for some maintenance. So easy peasy, straight to town. Very nice.
Okay, so do you remember when I said I was going home tomorrow? Well, that's not happening now. So it was like perfect because there's a haul out. So the boat has to go out for maintenance, uh, just like general maintenance. And then um, we got a water or a radio call in for somebody who wanted a water taxi run to that town. So my friend, who was supposed to be here all week, who got here yesterday, just packed up all his stuff <laughs> because he's bringing. Oh, and I also forgot to mention when I went to make lunch, guess what? The regulator froze again, so I had to go outside. And the snow behind the house is like halfway up my shin. Not enjoyable, but anyways, I have a feeling I'm going to have to do that again when I want to cook dinner, which makes me very sad, but it is what it is. I'd rather do it in this weather, which is like, you know, not ideal, but at least it's not a blizzard and blowing 40 kilometers an hour. Like, this I can um, deal with. It could be worse, although like you can see. Can I get it? Like, <laughs> you can see how deep it is, and it's quite deep back there. Okay, so here's the situation of my clothes. I guess I can turn on a light. I mean, it's bright enough. My plan had been to just take them and fold them and put them in my suitcase, but now, because of reasons that I'm staying, <laughs> I have to do another load because I don't have enough socks to get me through the extra day. I had just enough socks to um, get me through today and tomorrow. So we're gonna pull everything here. I know it looks like I have a lot of socks, but I only have like two pairs of base layers and I might need a pair today. I should probably actually put on socks. I'm barefoot right now. And so <laughs> we must do another load of laundry. Oh no, we're stuck. And it's fine. So I think the best, <laughs> though maybe not the most ideal plan, is to just kind of put my clothes on the bed or the desk. Let's go with the desk. It's mostly clean. <laughs> the stuff that's hanging I can leave for now. In fact, I probably could have left that, but my brain was just like, gotta deal with it. And then we're gonna take care of this. <laughs> and we're gonna wash this. It's so crazy. Like, I'm going through so many clothes because I just keep getting wet outside in the snow or I just have to go outside. So anyways, I'll just take care of these. I'm not gonna wash my PJs. Well, I'm gonna wash those PJs, but I'm not gonna wash my other PJ shirt because I only wore it one night. So I'm gonna put the laundry in and then when that's done, I'll hang everything up. And then hopefully that's the last time I have to do laundry. The one nice thing, and I think I mentioned it before, is because I'm the only one here, my friend was here too, but there's six rooms in this house. So I'm living in one room, he's living in another room, and then I'm just using one to dry my clothes. So that's cool, but let's get this. Don't fall out, man, don't do it. I'm really glad that I found this tote because otherwise this would have been a pain. Let's take this and go out to the laundry room. You know, I feel like I did this shop before, but last time I think it was because I was having to defrost the regulator. The worst. All right, we're in. We got some light. This room is very questionable at the moment because I've got the extension cord on the ground. <laughs> Um, for the heat gun. Everything's questionable at the moment, to be honest. All right, got everything in there. Gonna start it running. Why are the lights flickering? I think it might just be the light out here, to be honest. You're super crooked, by the way. So sorry about that. And there we go. And we clean. It's not the fastest <laughs> washer for sure. I think it's like 45 minutes, whereas, you know, the other ones on property that you pay for. <laughs> there we go. Are about um, 
half an hour, I think. But I think regardless what I'm gonna do, because I'm so bored, there's nothing to do. <laughs> I'm gonna take care of these clothes. I think I'm gonna probably fold the majority of them because even though I'm not leaving until the next day, I, I cannot wear this many clothes. <laughs> Well, I mean, if I tried, I can't wear this many clothes in one day. So I'm going to kind of take the ones that I know I probably won't wear. I got to sneeze. That's not good. <laughs> the ones I know I probably won't wear and um, bring them in. I'll put them on the pile. I'm not going to fold them right now. I'm too lazy. I have nothing to do, but I'm too lazy to fold these clothes. Um, we'll just put them there. I could actually probably do some work on like figuring out the type of content we want to start producing out here on my laptop because that's one thing it can do it can word process um but yeah we'll see i'm very excited to like go jump on this journey with blind channel which i love and my boss who like i, I was very clear like I really like making content. I haven't made that type of content before, but I have these ideas and I have the skills to edit them. It's just the actual getting the content. So I'm really excited that, you know, he's got faith in me to give it a try or even just to send me um, raw footage. That's also an option and um, that I get to add to my skill set. Anyways, we should probably soak that because that's pretty gross. And um, I'm going to be back on the couch now for a bit. <laughs> I'm the worst. You know how I was like, and I'm not gonna take the clothes that I'm probably gonna wear because like I should not, I should hang them instead of folding them. Yeah, what, what was the point of that? I just took them to my room <laughs> and I stuck them there on the desk with everything else. Because like honestly, honestly, who was I thinking I was? Anyways, I have my clothes. <laughs> that are damp, <laughs> imagine that. <laughs> they just came out of the washer. And uh, I'm gonna hang them up. And then once they're done hanging up, I'm gonna get back to working on my computer. I'm like, ah, oh, she actually did it. Um, <laughs> just been brainstorming ideas of things to do for social media. One that we talked about a lot, which I think is like really cool because it's something that I'm interested in. Let me maybe here. Is here better? <laughs> it's something that I always find interesting, no matter kind of what the subject is, the behind the scenes stuff. So like, I know I've talked a bit about it on this channel, the logistics of getting things to blind channel and the power and uh, the internet and stuff, but I just think it's very fascinating. And so I think that's something that we really need to showcase because for us, what's like a regular Tuesday or Wednesday or whatever, isn't so regular for other people. <laughs> like, you know, if we need to get supplies from town, we need to go to town. We need to load up the boat the night before with any like totes or coolers we need. We need to take the boat to the truck. We need to get the truck. We need to load that stuff in the truck. We have to drive to town. There's so much running around. I refuse to go to town. I refuse to have days off because I don't want to go to town and do this. <laughs> you get like maybe like 30 minutes for lunch and then you finish your shopping and you usually gonna be back by like four o'clock at the latest for the boat. Like it's crazy. But like something like that, that's just so normal to us because we just do it all the time. Just like, like anything else that we do out here that is normal to us, not so normal to other people kind of strange and so I told my boss I was like you know try to think of it from like an outsider's perspective like yeah driving like an hour-long boat ride to get the kids to school once a week normal to you <laughs> other people eh. and one of the kids he actually has written a couple pieces about you know living out here that have been published and so yeah like <laughs> think about what's not normal <laughs> And let's um, play to that. And like also things like, um, whatchamacallit, <laughs> like getting fuel out here. A lot of people ask about that. We could probably do some history of the family because a lot of people ask about that. <laughs> it's like trying to think of all the questions that you answer like 17 times a day in the summer. 
well, can we make that informative? <laughs> like, when was the restaurant built? Like, that's a fun story because initially the restaurant was in the Big Red House. It's the one I stayed at um, at Thanksgiving, the one I was in the other day with the uh, minor leak. Turned out it was just a cracked toilet reservoir, if anybody was keeping up to date on that. Um, but when they first built uh, that house, they used the downstairs as a restaurant uh, for many years until they built the restaurant building. And then obviously that became the restaurant and then they converted the bottom floor back to their like living area. But like, that's a neat story. That's cool. So I think just all like the little things highlighting the specials, the specials, the special things about Wine Channel is important. And maybe the not so much the less special things like doing laundry so much. <laughs> Although, interestingly enough, <laughs> laundry. Oh, I dropped a sock. <laughs> Socks are like gold in this weather. Um, last year we started sending out our laundry to town, which is really interesting because before we just had to do all the laundry and it's, you know, a bit of a struggle with like so much laundry that has to be done when you're flipping cabins and such. So sending it out makes it a lot easier, but then you have to plan accordingly. Like, okay, if I send the laundry out on Wednesday <laughs> and then it needs to come back the following Friday, do we have enough clothes to get through, or not clothes, like bed sheets to get through, or do we need to wash some? So yeah, anyways, boring, exciting, I don't know. <laughs> but this is what I'm working on. Oh my god, it's hilarious. It autocorrected it. Seasons in blind channel to seasons in bling channel. Yeah, so I'm just gonna work on that and then probably share it with my boss. I have... Wow, I'm watching Chopped and so many people are cutting themselves. Like, I have not seen people slice their fingers more. And I've watched a lot of Chopped out here. It's one of the, like, the things that we watch a lot in the staff house. There's a lot of finger chopping happening. <laughs> anyway, um... That. <laughs> like there's other things too, like rescues. We go on rescues or there'll be like oil spills that we go to, the, all that kind of stuff. And so I was like, well, you know, I always have a camera with me in the store. <laughs> so anyone can grab it at any point. The nice thing about GoPros is they're like, you click and you go kind of thing. So that's cool. And we'll see what we can get for content. We'll see what kind of content Strudel's mom can get if I'm not here. And I was like, we'll need a hard drive to transfer the footage back and forth. But I'm excited, like I said, I'm excited to attempt whatever the heck we're gonna do. I think there's just a huge missed opportunity out here in terms of social media for uh, video stuff. And whether it's me doing it or somebody else doing it, like there's a YouTube channel that has like two videos on it. Um, and there can be so much more. So anyways, I'm excited to get to play with stuff and maybe get paid for it. We'll definitely get paid for it. <laughs> maybe parlay it into something more regular. Who knows, maybe I'll just become a full-time content creator. I don't see that happening. Unless I can somehow go full-time on Twitch, which would be so cool. Imagine just playing video games and chatting with people. It'd be amazing. I'd have to make so much money in sponsorships to do that though. Anyways, back to this. <laughs> and um, I'll, cause I have been rambling too much and I will chat with you um, later, alligator. Who am I? I texted at Strudel's mom earlier and I was like, can Strudel come out to play? <laughs> Actually, I said, can she come, is she busy? Can she come over to cuddle? And so they both came over for a bit. I got to cuddle with Strudel a lot. And uh, we talked a bit about social media and stuff because Strudel's mom does like all of the social media out here, all the photographs, all that fun stuff. So we talked about like various different things. Um, and we're like, yeah, like if we're doing reels, like we should get some of the funny audio. And I was thinking like liquor delivery day, nobody loves it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just, it always comes at low tide and it sucks. Um, but I was thinking there's that audio, um, that we could use for a reel, you know, the this is, a, th this is a hate crime. It's like, that's not a hate crime. Well, it happened to me and I hated it or whatever. Um, but I think that would be great. So writing down that there's so much stuff, like, cause there's tours and every, like, there's so much 
that they could be capitalizing on if they had more. I've got like 12 different video ideas and many, many subsections under that. So it should be okay. Like, um, history of blind channel, like blind channel of the restaurant, because that's got a fun history. Like I was mentioning the store. Cause when they first moved out here, the store was in a different place. And then they added it to the restaurant building, the property, like what was here before they bought this property. Cause it was a, um, shake mill and a cannery at one point. There was a school here and the family, the bottle wall in the store, because Oh my God, do I have to talk about that bottle wall so many times. So yeah, anyways, I'm pretty content with what I came up with thus far. I'll have to unfortunately spend a lot of time on social media getting more ideas. What a shame. So anyways, we're, we're, we made some progress or something oh, that can close. Um, and now it's five o'clock. I'm just gonna be hanging out. Um, I've watched all the TV. There's like nothing left. Like I don't have cable. And I haven't had cable for years and years and years. So it's really only when I'm puppy sitting or when I'm out here at work that I have cable. And like, honestly, I don't miss it. <laughs> I've watched like all the TV there is to watch. It's all reruns or just really bad movies and shows now. So I'm gonna hang out for a bit. I just tried the propane just to see. I'm gonna have to go defrost the line again before I cook dinner, but it's only five now. So probably like an hour, hour and a half. I'm sad about that, but it is what it is. <laughs> and then I was thinking I should probably shower tonight because I wasn't gonna shower tonight because I knew I was leaving tomorrow, but because I'm not leaving tomorrow now, I should shower tonight and then pack up my stuff after that. <sighs> Life is hard. Also, also, <laughs> we might be renting out this house next week. So like I should maybe try to pack up some of the food and stuff because, okay, let me show you this. This here is the food that I brought with me. This is left from the summer. This is left from the summer. This is left from the summer. That's left from the summer. And it looks like there's some random things down there. There's people left so much food. Like what the heck? Like I left, I will admit, I left this rice for my breakfast buddy, but then she left shortly, like a month after me. So she didn't like use it. So I'll bring that back with me. But then even in the fridge, oh, did I show? I showed the new fridge. I definitely showed the new fridge. Um, so this is mine and that's mine. And these are my friends. And then that was left from the summer. Everything on the door was left from the summer and everything down here. Like that's insane people. Like, ah, I think there's even some liquor up here. Yeah. So anyways, everything has to get moved. Oh, you know what? I think maybe, yeah, there's, there's a little bit in here too. That was from when we had family pancake night. Waffles actually, technically. Anyway, um, so if they are gonna rent this out, there's so much stuff to pack up still. Um, four of the six rooms are made up. Obviously my room's not made up because I'm using it and my friend's room's not made up because he was using it. Uh, but yeah, there's so much stuff. If they're gonna rent it out, that needs to be just like crated up and either tossed or brought somewhere else for future. So anyways, fun times. I might work on that a bit tomorrow. I don't know, we'll see. And as, as expected, my boss never came back to work on some, some, some content. We discussed it. I didn't think he was gonna come back and he didn't, but that's okay. Ugh, my email is just being such a jerk today. It's like, I opened up this email like three hours ago and it keeps saying that I haven't opened it, but I think that's just because the Wi-Fi is so bad. Okay, I'm gonna go. I've d I feel like I've been talking so much today. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Three things. One, it goes on and then it fades. You gotta do the propane, rude. Two, it's not snowing. So that's nice. Three, it is absolutely freezing out there. I just opened the door to just check to see if it was snowing. It's not, like I said, but it is so cold. That's a lot of hair. I always kind of forget how much hair I have until I have to do anything with it. The nice thing is, is I think, cause I only have to be out there for like a minute or two. I don't think I need to throw a jacket on because it's not, I should probably throw a jacket on anyways. It's only gonna be my lightweight one, but anyways. We'll put the boots on again. 
There was like those two days where I, uh, where it was raining and these were the worst boots to have, but honestly, in the snow, I love them. Also like, I'm shaking the, <laughs> the thing that's standing on. All right, boots are on. Here comes the jacket. Earlier today when I went out, I didn't even have this layer on because it was pretty warm out, but now it's just no bueno. My boots are still a little damp from earlier <laughs> because there's a lot of snow out here, but it's not the end of the world. Okay, Whew. it is cold out here. So the nice thing is, after having done this a few times now, um, I know that I have enough cord footage. <laughs> that in um <laughs> in the mess here so just gonna pull it out uh, just two hands two hands for sure two hands and is it starting to snow it's starting to snow it just made a liar of me um so i'm just gonna pull out the length that I need and I gotta be careful obviously because I don't want this plug-in to get wet Just don't want to get electrocuted okay that's as much as I need I toss it down here put the heat gun around the corner and then we make the truck which is actually a little bit more disastrous now okay because like it's so deep. Yeah. It's so deep. Okay, so grab this. Grab that. And it's a little dark back there, so I don't know what you can see. <sighs> oh, I can certainly see enough. Okay, maybe you go there. And just hope for the best. Okay, back we go. <laughs> the same place got me both times. And we bring this back in and we hope the propane works. Does it stay, does it stay, does it stay? I wonder if I'm out of propane. <laughs> Guess I gotta go back out. Not gonna bring the camera this time and see what I can do. Okay, so the second time's a charm. I'm pretty sure it was just frozen because one of the propane tanks is pretty empty, but the other one seems fine. However, and my friend did mention it when he came, the hot water propane tank. So we have 200 pounders for cooking and then we have 200 pounders for um, water. And the, both of the 100 pounders for water are very light. So I was thinking about showering tonight. I don't know if that's going to be feasible. Also, um, he was going to check the diesel. I don't know if he had a chance to do that. And the heaters run on diesel. So that could be a problem. So anyways, um, I've got the oven on because I'm having some french fries and some steak strips. Cause like I didn't really plan meals, I just brought food. Um, so things that look like french fries is the theme. And then maybe I'll try to shower later, I don't know. I don't want to like get in the shower and then freeze, and then the diesel to die. <laughs> okay, it would never get that extreme, they wouldn't let me die here, but you know. <laughs> Anyways, plan now is to cook and then like I mentioned, they might be renting out the house, and my boss emailed me and asked if I could um, do some prep for that tomorrow. So I'll at least have something to do, maybe even leave the house, try to find some boxes. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, so the hot water slash propane decided for me in terms of a shower. I am not having one because I have no hot water. I, I turned it on. There's none there. I messaged um, Strudel's mom because she can fill propane and I said, hey, it's no rush, it's no issue. <sighs> I have no propane for hot water. 
it's fine. Like, don't worry about it for today, but like, can we look at it tomorrow? And she said, yeah, it's gonna be a pain to get the gator there because we, I would say we have like two to three feet of snow, depending on where you are on the property. And the problem is, I'll show you. I'm not going outside to show you, but I will show you. So if we come along this way, this is the one side of the house, which I went around earlier. The propane for the hot water is about right there outside, but you can't get to it from this side of the house because the gator can't get in there. So in order to get the propane, we need to come from that corner all the way along here, all the way along here, all the way along here. And we have to go between this house and the cabin over there, which you probably can't see very well. Oh, it's so cold out here. Stop snowing though, but yeah, so we need to go between these two houses, which is also a pain, as you can see. But beyond that being a pain and all the snow there, there's also all the snow between where I am and where the gator lives, which is so far away. I can't even point. It's like, you know where the store is kind of in relation to where we are? It's up the hill behind that. So that'll be fun. <laughs> so I think tomorrow when I get up, I'll probably try to start shoveling the back area here because I think that'll be the worst part because it is quite deep back there. And then we'll see. And like I said, like I was able to get enough propane to get these dishes done with hot water, a miracle. I won't shower and just, if I can't wash dishes, I can't wash dishes. I can always boil water. Like it's not the end of the world. I have water and I can make my propane work. It's a pain, but I can make it work. Ooh, look, I did some cleaning. <laughs> so very exciting, I know. So it's like just after 10 now and I decided I should fold some clothes. There's like a fluff on my ground, on the ground here that I keep thinking is a spider, which is not ideal. Anyways, it's like 10.30, so I'm getting ready to go to bed. Uh, plans for tomorrow. I need to pack my stuff. I need to pack up a bunch of food. I did find a box in the house, so that's really exciting because I might be able to get everything in there, so I might not have to go trekking. Eh. And when I say everything, I mean everything dried. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about all the condiments. And then clearing a path for the gator, for the propane. So we're actually gonna get out of the house tomorrow, which I probably need. I have been like a, a couch potato for <laughs> the last mul multiple days. Like on the second, on the first, I actually left the house for a couple hours because I had to do some stuff in the store, like some recounts and everything. On the second, I left the house for about an hour and a half. <laughs> and on the third, the same. Today, being the fourth. Oh, I went to the store briefly briefly <laughs> so it's, it's, it hasn't been a lot so tomorrow we'll go do some stuff stuff also strudel's mom's gonna teach me how to check the diesel so that, like in the future i could check it filling it's another story <laughs> i mean i understand the concept you get the gator you get the barrel you fill the barrel with the diesel you take the pump and the barrel in the gator and you go to the diesel tank and you fill it concept there actual uh, doing not um <laughs> anyway so yeah the plans for tomorrow are to be a little bit more productive and then assuming all goes to plan the next day i will be leaving to go home which i'm kind of excited about i'm i'm kind of excited to sleep in my own bed again because in the last 15 days i've slept in my bed once although like this room has been my room for two summers and when i was here in september again and then when I've been here now and like it's kind of become my room <laughs> it's, 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 so it's it's not so much that it's the pc setup I know it's so bad but like I miss my bed a little bit but I mostly miss my computer I just I can't do much with my laptop anymore and it makes me so sad because I just love making things so anyways I've got like a hunt no it can't be a hundred do I have a hundred clips on my gopro GoPro's in my hand. <laughs> it was on my desk before. Anyways, I have a lot of clips on my GoPro. The nice thing is I have a 256 gig card in here now, so I have so much space left to go. But yeah, I have so many clips, but there's no point in putting them on my laptop because I can't do anything on that. So anyways, 
I can't wait to get to, back to my computer and stream again and, 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 oh, I just remember my room's a disaster because I only had, like, less than 24 hours between when I got home and when I came back here or came out here. Okay, anyways, I have rambled nonstop today. This is probably going to be, like, the longest vlog ever, and I am so sorry, but if you got this far, thank you. I super appreciate it. You have a real one. <laughs> and I'm going to go now, and I will see you in the next one, which will probably be the videos, which will probably be tomorrow of me, like, doing stuff. <laughs> Good night.